Hello, this is Dr. Leo at Lead Time. In this video, I want to demonstrate you how to make a lavender hydrosol, an essential oil from a fresh lavender. And the key question is uh, when is a good timing to harvest lavender for the best hydrosol we can make and uh, what part of the lavender we're going to use. Got questions like uh, can we use a leaf, stem? Yes, you can. But uh, if you use the right parts, you will get the best quality of your products. Now is the perfect time to uh, harvest the lavender. So my lavender already fully uh, bloomed. And when you see the plants kind of opened up, that means the plant is mature. See, it's uh, already giving the flower, the best flowers. And this is the time to do the harvest. Before I demonstrate you the whole process, and uh, the one tip I want to give you is uh, when you do the distillation, so you don't want to use a powder. I got a question, can I use a powder? You know, you don't want to use a powder because when we do the distillation, we want the water, the steam goes through the plant material. The powder, you know, it, it has a benefit because it's already crushed. So the cell structure being crushed. But in the meantime, when you make a powder, you are already losing the, some of the volatile compounds because you either use a blender or whatever the equipment you're using. So the heat causes a loss of those volatile compounds. Those are the precious chemical we want to capture during the distillation. And the second is uh, when we do the distillation, we want to steam go through it. You don't want to block it. Otherwise, you kind of making the pressure build up. That will cause some safety issues. Now let's start the harvesting and the distillation. In today's video, I want to show you when to pick up uh, harvest uh, lavender. What is the best timing for your the best uh, hydrosol making? And also uh, how to harvest, uh, which part we should harvest. Um, now my lavender is uh, it's ready. It's uh, fully uh, you know, most of the flower are bloom. When you see a lot of purple color, that means it's already bloom and it's ready for you uh, to harvest. So when you smell a good lavender scent, that is a good sign for the harvest. So when we harvest, we try to just collect the flower, but uh, you know, you don't want to make it too complicated. You know, spend a lot of time on separating. We just cut the top part of the stem, the flower stem. So basically like we mostly just take the flower. So this is another uh, easier way. Just uh, grab a bunch of them and uh, cut the bottom. I got a good bucket of the lavender. So now I go back to the room and uh, start the distillation. Different plants, uh, when we make a hydrosol essential oil, we use uh, different parts. For lavender, uh, we can use the flower, use the stem and leaf. The flower has the most concentrated essential oil. So that's why if you purchase like the dry the lavender, you dry, buy the dry lavender buds that bring you the most uh, essential oil yield. I have a book talk about different herbs. So what parts of the herb we're going to use for the extraction and what time for the best, uh, you know, harvesting for the best outcome. And I put the book, the link in the description part. And also there is a free sample book. You can download it, read it. And I know the book was written about and it's on sale during this uh, memorial holiday. Please take advantage of it. And the distillation is easy. Today I'm using the RT3000. Uh, this has a one liter column. Just push in the flour 
and uh, the stem all together. Give a little bit squeeze, don't push too much because uh, we need we need a space for the uh, the steam go through. So just kind of a loosely uh, push down. You don't uh, you know push too much. Then remember, put the top uh, C plate on. And then close it. So it's ready. I added uh, one and a half liter the filter water um, because I plan to get a uh, one liter of the hydrosol. So you always want uh, about half liter more water in the pot. So when you stop it. You have plenty of water in the pot, you don't overcook, you, you don't burn it. Today I'm using the circulation cooling, so you're gonna need a bucket of water, a little pump, and I have a valve to control the flow. We have a manual app, it's free. It includes a lot of uh, very useful information, including like instructions, how to set up, uh, how to set up the circulation, how to use the oil separator, include a lot of uh, very helpful information. If you are new to steel or distillation, that is a must have app. I put the link down below in the, the comments uh, session. So you can just click it, go to the blog, and then it's available for iPhone and also the Google Android system. Here you can see the very pretty uh, golden color, the lavender essential oil. The lavender I grow is uh, English lavender. It has uh, much lower the oil yield than the lavender, but I still get a pretty good amount of the oil from the fresh flower. I'm uh, very uh, satisfied. So now I want to show you the hydrosol as well. You can see it's uh, still a bit of a cloudy. This is a good sign. I smell the hydrosol. It brings a, a, a strong lavender the scent. Thank you for watching. Hopefully you know something about how to harvest the lavender for the best hydrosol making and I demonstrate you the distillation to make uh, the fresh essential oil and hydrosol. This is Dr. Liu and see you next time.